So here you can see smoke coming up where this peat fire exists. Cars can't see students until they've stepped into the intersection. And takes 50% of me and 50% of the dog. Good morning, America. Got the chance today to check out how this small town store is such a big success. Here at this shoreline, you can see the severity of the fish kill off. As we get older, our risks for cardiovascular and heart disease increases. He has his subjects sit for him, but if he can't do that, he will use a photograph. Law enforcement was able to track the suspect's footprints down this alleyway. Where the cross was set on fire was right outside of Smith's window. The moving wall is made of aluminum, but painted with a black gloss. John Wongberg has been a teacher here at Central Elementary School since 1986, and it was here at this very school on March 17th of 2011 that the mother of a kindergarten student came forward to the school principal with allegations that Wongberg had inappropriately touched her daughter. Now she is speaking on camera for the first time, and she says she won't be revealing her last name, however, to protect the privacy of her children. It's your worst nightmare. Times 10. Krista's daughter was in kindergarten when she came forward with allegations of sexual abuse against former Bemidji teacher John Wongberg. Nobody wants to believe it's your friend or your neighbor or whoever. Um, and so I run into a lot of roadblocks. Wongberg was charged with three counts of criminal sexual conduct Wednesday. All three of the alleged victims were girls under the age of 10. And two of the three allegations came from Central Elementary. I was terrified to even let my kid go to school. After failing to reach Wongberg by phone, we went to his Cass Lake home to give him the chance to comment. It doesn't look like anyone seems to be home. You want to make any comments, sir? Yeah. So we just uh, tried to knock on the door here, and it looked like John Wongberg actually came around and uh, waved us away. Wongberg had notified the school district of his retirement on March 15th of 2011. Two days later, Krista came forward. We have a conversation. We say we're placing you on administrative leave. Uh, we escorted him out the building and, uh, you know, took his keys. The Bemidji school superintendent says they handled the issue according to policy, which he says is thorough and effective. Our policies are um, very good. They're very well thought out. You're supposed to trust the school and the teachers. That's the safe place. And then this happens at school from a teacher. And the superintendent also ha says that they have a very strong sexual harassment policy in place that comes from sources such as the state and national school board associations. Now, the policy itself outlines and looks at definitions as well as school board actions, reprisal, and even outlines training procedures. Coffee connoisseurs consider a perfect cup of joe a work of art. But there's the art of brewing coffee, and then there's coffee art. It's a special subset of the culinary arts. Bemidji artista, barista Norwood Hall does more than brew a quality cup of coffee. He can take a simple espresso and turn it into edible art. Hall has tackled his brewing techniques, but it wasn't until he opened his own coffee shop about seven years ago that he came upon the culture of coffee art. It turns out I have, have a knack for it. Swirl, contrasting color. Coffee art is creating patterns, designs, or pictures using just java and milk as a medium. It's an art that you consume. Just like making this caffeinated beverage, there is a serious skill behind this culinary art form. It takes a feel, it takes a, a touch. There are two methods to making coffee art. Sort of cut through the milk. Etching and milk throwing. They're commonly refer referred to as rosettas and you get a really nice um, contrasting colors in there. It's an art that is tedious but also temporary as the design only lasts as long as the drink. And if it's a good cup of coffee, that's merely minutes. It literally starts to disintegrate them as soon as it's done, so you have very little time with it. While this edible art can only be enjoyed for a few minutes, Hall says it's a gratifying creation because it's a multi-sensory experience, something that you can enjoy with your eyes and your stomach. The fact that they get to enjoy it with their with their mouths and their tummies that makes up for the fact that it doesn't exist forever. So coffee art cannot be truly appreciated until it's consumed. 
And this Java junkie would much rather see his designs digesting in someone's stomach than hanging on someone's wall. Right in between the two signs up here. Uh, there was a pile of bags. Because of one person's poo-poo, Beltrami County officials are in deep doo-doo. There was bed pads and uh, diapers with human waste in them and catheters, and uh, it was strewn all about, about the ditch. In the last four years, a dirty diaper dumper has been leaving their stink behind for the county to clean up. Not a pleasant job to have to pick that stuff up. These diaper dumpings are all happening in the same few spots off Highway 89 in the Pinewood area most recently on County Road 22. But this is more than just a bizarre case. Disposing of this bandit's biohazardous waste is costing the county and taxpayers. To go pick this stuff up, these guys have to wear uh, protective gear when they go handle this stuff to get it. And the real stink of the situation is that only a mile from where this dirty diaper dumper flung his feces, there's an actual waste management center perfect for disposing of duty. Everybody pays about $121 a year on their taxes, and that's for them to be able to dispose of stuff like that. I mean, it's there's no reason to be throwing it out in the woods. Human excrement or other home hazardous waste can be dropped off at any area dump. Sheriff officials can only speculate that the perpetrator might assume disposing of the duty diapers properly might cost money or require extra handling. The county is getting sick of going and picking up this waste. Yeah, we just want it to stop. It's a duty of a dilemma, but the sheriff's department is determined to dispose of this poopy problem.